When I first came here, this was new ground, untrammeled by any other Western scientist before me. For nearly a century, it was closed off behind the Iron Curtain. Even today, it's one of the most remote parts of the world. In this isolated land, I collected the blood of over 2,000 people. That was when we discovered that their blood held a remarkable secret, an ancient marker. I recognized it immediately. Nearly every man in Western Europe was carrying it, from Norway to Spain, Ireland to Austria. So my European ancestors hadn't taken the obvious route from Africa via the Middle East. Instead, they had passed through Central Asia 40,000 years ago. That was why they had taken so long to reach my homeland. But why would they do that? How did my ancient family from the Middle East wind up here, in this wilderness? William Calvin thinks that yet again the weather played a critical role. Worldwide, you're getting droughts, you're getting forest fires, but the next year you're getting a lot of grass and a lot of grazing animals. And that's opportunity for the, the humans that survive the, the crash. And for opportunity, read food. Honing their hunting skills and adapting to the colder temperatures, these African hunters followed the grasslands into modern-day Kazakhstan. The discovery of the Central Asian marker had changed our understanding of the journey made by the first Europeans. But was Europe the only destination for these formidable Central Asian hunters? Did their journey take them anywhere else? We widened our search and were in for an even bigger surprise. The markers seemed to be everywhere we looked, from Europe through Asia, Russia, North and South America, the list seemed to be endless. We'd uncovered an astounding secret. If Africa was the cradle of mankind, then Central Asia was its nursery. Bizarre, sea of faces. And you can tell so much from a face, or can you? Where are we now? We could be anywhere across the continent of Eurasia, but in fact, we're right at the very heart of it, in Central Asia. China is a few miles in that direction. Afghanistan, a few hundred miles to the south. This is really the crossing point, the central part of the continent of Eurasia. And I've come back for a very special reason. Hidden in the samples of those 2,000 Central Asians was one extraordinary individual. His name is Niazov, and he's directly descended from the man whose DNA, 40,000 years ago, had a tiny spelling mistake, the Central Asian marker. This genetic marker has spread throughout the Northern Hemisphere and been inherited by over a billion people. Branches of Niazov's ancestors went on to people Europe, parts of India, Russia, and America. But Niazov's family has always stayed here. Analyzing his DNA for the first time was an extraordinary moment. In an instant, I knew we'd discovered something very important. Now we're going to meet him. After nearly 2,000 generations, Niazov still lives in Central Asia. I'm excited about meeting him again, now that I fully understand the history he holds in his blood. But with a war raging less than 200 miles away in Afghanistan, making it across the border could be a little dicey. Kazakhstan has locked down its borders because of the situation in Afghanistan. 
possible refugees, possible Islamic militants. Everything's a bit touchy right now. About 500 meters from the post now. We also know that you're not supposed to film or take pictures at these border posts, so um, hopefully they won't notice us doing that. They might not even let me through, and I may not get to see the man whose blood has unlocked the secrets of the greatest journey ever. Yeah, he's eyeballed me. How am I going to get out of this one? I'm on the track of one man whose blood tells the story of the most extraordinary journey in history. The children of this man's great ancestor became Native Americans, Europeans, Asians, and Russians. Some even made it down into India, but I'm being held at a border near a war zone. After four hours of bargaining, we were allowed into Kazakhstan. We're on our way. We left eastern Kyrgyzstan at about nine o'clock this morning, and it's nine o'clock at night now, but very, very excited. Um, we're about to go in and meet somebody who plays a critical role in our understanding of the genetic history of Eurasia. Um, he, he gives us a direct line back to the ancestors of most Europeans, Native Americans, and a lot of Indians. So um, let's go see him. This is an extraordinary moment. You can make discoveries in a lab, but to put a face to a genetic marker as ancient as this, well, for me, it's truly amazing. He may be shorter than I am, but he's a genetic giant in our history. I'm going to have to give him my blood speech, though. Hope it doesn't put him off. What if I told you that your blood takes us back in history 40,000 years? Your lineage takes us back to the very first Central Asians, before Uyghurs, before Pamiris, before Tajiks, the very first people who lived here. Do, do you know what DNA is? So it's the blueprint. That, that it's your instruction book. It's how to make a, another version of you. Now, the thing that we've been studying is known as the Y chromosome. And this is a small piece of DNA that doesn't really do very much except to make you male. So your Y chromosome you got from your father. Чистый. Чистый. Да. Pure. And a grandfather. That's great. Father and grandfather. That's fantastic. So that is a lineage, okay? Your Y chromosome came from him to him to you. Now, if, if we trace back even further, so we go from you to your father, to your grandfather, to his father, and for so on and so on and so on, back through nearly 2,000 generations. If we do that, we reach a single man, a single man, one man. Who was living in southern Central Asia. Around 40,000 years ago. Now, this was a very important man. Because, <laughs> because he is the he is the ancestor of Europeans, uh -huh. Native Americans, and many many Indians. <laughs> so I can I can tell you with absolute certainty 
Я могу вам точно вот сказать, точно с полной уверенностью. Your Y chromosome and his Y chromosome uh -huh. and his Y chromosome, they've been here for 40,000 years. Спасибо. Thank you. Мой кровь из нас чистый. That means my blood is pure. So congratulations. Поздравляю. Very interesting blood. It's it's absolutely fantastic to be able to do the work I do. I, I'm very lucky. Я очень счастлив. Это просто фантастически то, что я делаю и чего что я нашел. Every every day is like solving a puzzle. I go into the laboratory and I get a result and it solves a mystery about history. То есть каждый день я как бы решаю какие-то загадки. Я прихожу в лабораторию, начинаю что-то делать и получаю абсолютно уникальные результаты. То есть каждый день как бы загадки, каждый день. Спасибо. But the most amazing part is to be able to come back here and tell you the results that I found from your blood. И самое то, что самое, я счастлив то, что я после того, как сделав, получив результаты, я смог приехать опять сюда и сказать вам об этом. Спасибо. So, I'd like to thank you for giving me both intellectual pleasure and and real friendship and enjoyment. I, I, Я хотел бы сказать вам спасибо за то, что вы мне дали uh, просто интеллектуальное удовольствие, mm -hmm. то, что я получил, я ученый получил такой результат. Я очень рад. И uh, пожелать вам здоровья и счастья. Спасибо. So to your to your very important blood, which has brought us together. Что мы стали друзьями и что у вас очень важная очень важная кровь. Что приехали чаще. Снимали штуку. Я вам благодарен, что вы издалека пришли. Я благодарен, что вы пришли из далека. Большое спасибо. Спасибо вам большое. Я так боялся, что они меня делают. Мне кажется, что этот мужчина думал, что доктор сказал, что у него есть кинцер. Не удивительно, что он выглядит удовлетворенным. Это все Genetically, we're so close. Yet from here in Central Asia, the descendants of Niazov's ancestral grandfather ventured out to give us an incredible diversity of looks. One group traveled west along the plains of Asia to become the first Europeans. But one branch of Niazov's family reached the Americas. Their children are the Native Americans from the Inuit to the Incas. To get there, they had to embark on a journey into climatic extremes beyond anything endured before. Remember the Ice Age? Well, 20,000 years ago, it was at its most extreme. And yet, our research shows that that's when they headed straight into its bitter heart. Some of them are still there. Niazov's ancient marker shows up in a nomadic tribe deep in the Russian Arctic. They're called the Chukchi, and their survivors from the Great Migration to the Americas 15,000 years ago.